So one of the problems that we sometimes find with uh, the intrusion model is that it can create uh, blobby or rounded spherical type shapes. It's not too bad in this example, but um, you can see that it's sort of uh, pushing out here. So what we can do is we can use uh, an isotropy to, to control that. Uh, the way we do that is we need to define a search ellipse. Um, so I've got one set up here. And I've just made one that's sort of longer in the, uh, in the Z than it is in the X and the Y. So let's run that intrusion model again. But this time, instead of the isotropic as we had, we'll pick that search ellipse, that anisotropy. Give it a name, an iso, and let it run. Okay, so that's run. So if we put it back into a uh, friction view, so through here, that's the anisotropic surface, and that's the isotropic. So you can see the difference. It's just sort of pushed it out a bit and made it a bit uh, possibly more realistic.